don't have to score because there's no 15 on your score. <laughs> Give an honor to God to write all my stuff. All right, amen. Oh, yes. I've always hated side effects. I never understood them. I'll never forget the commercial for chronic baldness. Grow hair now. Look natural. Even swim in water. <laughs> side effects include drowsiness, bloating, constipation, headaches, acute mouth depression, AIDS, cancer, and sometimes death. <laughs> Sometimes death. <laughs> My mom had more side effects than illnesses. How can you call it a cure if it makes another part of you sick? Mm, okay. How can the FDA approve something that costs a gazillion but trillion dollars when they know good and well that once taken, your liver will get out? Mm -hmm. You expect me to believe there isn't a medicine that has no effects on the side? We can build planes that fly and rockets that jet to the moon. We can invent cell phones that double as your best friend, camera, alarm clock, calendar, address book, TV, iPod, <laughs> internet. No. Wait a minute, we can invent the internet? but we can't discover medicine that has no side effect? I don't second guess why food and drugs are combined into one administration. Mm -hmm. So they can keep tabs and approve the poisons allowed in our body, all the while developing the million dollar cure for the sickness that we get from eating it. And of course, throwing a little something, something on the side to keep us guessing and depending on the marvels of modern medicine. Man, gangsters come with a CEO badge nowadays. They dress in suits and spit fairy tales about the American dream. And we sit at Burger King and believe the chemical lies. Eat all the fast foods with hormones and pesticides. Get addicted till we can't think another way. Have it your way at Mickey D's brainwashing to our heads. So much we actually think that their low-fat sandwiches are good for us. We feed our children Similac and sugar crack, thinking, yeah, but with baby food, they wouldn't do that. They grow up with diabetes in one hand and the other a Big Mac. And then you come to my wife. She's like my last straw. Diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, we figured it was the luck of the draw. She took the medicine prescribed because your doctors know best, right? Wrong. What about vitamins, we asked early on. Doctors don't approve vitamins because they're not approved by the FDA. How can something so natural as a vitamin not be approved? The Food and Drug Administration don't want you to find out the secret that they're killing us and making us pay to stay alive. The only thing I knew about mercury was that it was a planet. I never figured another world would be in my wife's teeth. Of all the dangerous metals, mercury is number two behind plutonium. Mm -hmm. Are dentists crazy? Why would you put that in her mouth again? Might as well shoot her with some lethal gas while you're at it. Going the doctor's way no more, I've had it. Mercury's in several things, such as the spray in the foods that we devour. So they saturate your mind every hour under hour with extra thin fables and approved pills to take off those pounds. Yet mercury poison doubles at such diseases as MS, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, and lupus. Mm -hmm. But if they admit that it's bad for your teeth, then they have to admit that it's bad for the food that you eat. And if they admit that it's bad for the food that you eat, then they have to admit it's bad for the medicines that we take. So instead, my wife's happiness remains at stake, and she must pay the price of weak muscles and joints to keep money in rich folks' pockets. Mm -hmm. But we have nothing to lose. It's been four years, and our walking hasn't improved. It's time to get the mercury out, as well as any other chemical. Fill our refrigerator and hearts with nothing but vitamins and minerals. We're going a full organic route. Yet I'm still addicted to the sweetness of fried chicken in my mouth. <laughs> so if you see me at your local chicken shack, know that I'm still a work in progress. A man in food rehab, getting high on french fries, wanting so bad to believe the lies is too good to give up. But if I'm talking about being around for a genesis, then I must. As long as I keep passing fast food joints and calling them poison, it will stick in my head one day. One day I'll be completely free from the side effects of the lies and the foods that bind me. <laughs> Thank you.